are starting on the crawl space this morning. I'm going to do about a four foot over dig. I'm kind of just going to, I've already started, but kind of going to dig it like a footing and just dig out the uh, outside perimeter of it. It's basically going to daylight out in that corner. And then uh, after they, well, they get the footings in and the walls that will kind of backfill outside there. But for right now, it'll just make everyone's life easier to uh, kind of leave it daylighted out. I'm going to dump all my spoils here because just that's the back corner of the garage there and there. And then that area out there where the hose is at, my windows are. It's a little humid out this morning. <laughs> uh, where that hose is at, it's going to be like a courtyard. And that's actually going to be level with the rest of the house. So we're going to build that up and then they'll have like a stem wall they'll pour and stuff like that out there so I'm kind of going to work all my spoils over to that area and some of it we'll just get rid of some of it will uh, like I said just build that area up but for now we're just going to go around the perimeter of the house cut it down to the grade I need and then I'll just uh, go back from the furthest point and start hogging it out and moving it over here may get to the point later today or I'll kind of get in the loader and either kind of push those spoils or start, so like I said, start kind of leveling them out. Excuse me, in that courtyard area. It's going to be a four foot crawl space. Basically, we're going to cut it down five feet total, have one foot of footing and then four feet of wall on it. spot here they're gonna have a very small basement which is right inside there we may actually dig the basement over to the far part over there and make it a little bit bigger he's just gonna store like his garden tractor and some other stuff inside there so straight out from like where the loader is at I'm gonna have to cut all that out take out that big tree and I'm gonna kind of open it up and daylight it out because that hill just drops off so it will have a walk and I won't have to worry about water getting in there then Cut everything down for starters to the grade of the crawl space, then I'll go back and dig the little basement area from there. And I know it's probably annoying to look through this screen right now with the windows fogging up. It's going to get to like 98 today, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then by Thursday it's supposed to get down to 80. So <laughs> it's like our last little week of summer apparently so it's extremely humid and muggy right now so my windows are fogging up a lot about a few more hours that ought to go away it'll just be nice and hot
got the perimeter dug out the grade. Now I'm gonna go through here and just start hogging everything out. This stuff's just kind of dirt and sticks and junk. And I'm throwing it over here because uh, right out here is gonna be where like the walkout basement will go. And the crawl space is gonna be four feet deep. So then the basement I believe is gonna be another five feet down from there. So straight up from there, all of this, we're actually gonna kind of 45 it over, like where the loader's at. Take out that tree and some of these, you can't tell, but I don't know, another 10 or 15 feet past the bucket, that grade drops off like 10 to 12 feet. So I'm probably gonna have to just kind of hog out the whole side of that and get it to daylight out that hill right there. But uh, this stuff isn't really, good for much right here. Like I said, it's just a lot of the, uh, you can't really even call it topsoil, it's just kind of the top dirt or whatever. I get down to some pretty decent clay part way down where I go, where I dig it deep right around there. Uh, I want to dig all this dirt and loose stuff off first. I'll pile it up in a few spots. We may kind of do some backfilling, uh, you know, like for the yard and such, but these two courtyard areas have both got to be built up, so I'm going to use some of that better clay to spread on them and uh, roll it in there with the compactor and kind of, you know, work on packing some of that stuff in and let them be, be kind of settling. So I'll basically go through here and kind of strip all this loose dirt and rock junk until I get down to that reddish orange clay get this stuff piled up out of my way and then I'll come back and finish making my cut uh, to get down to the grade I need and then take like I said all that the red good clay and then dump in those two courtyard areas and then roll them in so some of this junk right here may either get hauled off or just wasted out there in the woods somewhere some of it will use uh, like backfilling along the walls on the outsides of the courtyard area. Like I said, for just maybe like yard stuff. I mean, even I could just spread a little bit of it or mix some of it in there in the courtyards, but they're going to have a bunch of like concrete and stone pavers and different things like that in there. So I just don't want to put any of this stuff in there to ever take a chance of settling. But like a yard, I mean, you could use this junk as a. Uh, some filler work in there if you're never really gonna build on it or anything. It's pretty much just junk. <laughs> so we may not do anything with it. And then the builders asked me to kind of dig around the stakes for right now. And then I guess I'll probably call him here in a little while and see if they can run out here today. I think they're gonna move them maybe measure from where they're at and put them right outside of the crawl space area. I think, or just so they have something to kind of go off of. Last time, the other guy just had me dig everything out and he relayed the house out in the hole, so. That may be what these guys do as well, but he asked me if I could kind of leave them for now, so that's what I'm gonna do. When they do the footings in here, they just do a formed footing, so that's the nice part about it. If it's a couple inches variance here or there, as long as it's not high, uh, it's a little bit low. There'll just be a little bit of a gap at the bottom of the forms, but they'll just raise those up to what they need to be, and then they may put a little rock in the bottom of them. But at least we don't have to, you know, dig footings or anything like that. It's they can get the height of the footings set with the form, so. I can get this close, but you can tell some of these rocks, it's, you know, if you're within a couple inches, it's really hard to shave it down an inch or two when you're rolling up six inch rocks. Like I said, we'll get it down here close and then slick it up with this or the loader and then roll it in really well.
I got the hole dug out, so it's about a 3,500 square foot crawl space. I need to finish shooting the grade. I kind of dressed the bottom of it up, but I think it's still a little bit high right in there. And then I'll uh, work on moving all my spoils back. I took the majority of the clay here. That's where I was talking about the, uh, uh, the one courtyard earlier and kind of got that leveled off. I kept it short because they're wanting to, uh, they're going to have a stem wall on there. So I got to dig a footing, but they wanted it to be in virgin soil. So uh, about 10 feet from the edge of it all the way around. And then, uh, once we dig that, we'll put clean rock and drain and stuff like that in there. And then we can backfill that all the way around. But yeah, I'm very happy with the progress I made today. So like I said, I just got a little bit of, uh, you now touching back up to get the bottom. I just got a high spot there. I'm going to need to double check all this. And like I said, once he shows up tomorrow, I can go ahead and get in here and knock all these stakes and stuff like that out and get that slicked up. And for, uh, about nine hours, that's a pretty good day if you ask me so i got everything fueled up and bring my blower back tomorrow and blow these radiators and air filters out because uh as you can tell it's a little dusty so but for tonight we're gonna head in so we'll just catch you guys tomorrow